What's up guys, welcome back to Painful DIY. I'm Ghetto Pain and you are watching Building a Jamaican Home Series. So, we have Junior with me today. I'm going to show him the ropes, show him how to do some, we have to type some steel today. So, I'm going to show him how to make steel cage. I'm interested to learn. So, we're going to see how much him. As an aspiring homeowner, Junior decides to learn as much as he can about construction. And what better way to learn than getting your hands dirty? There is a variety of tools out there for cutting rebars, but here we are using a 4 inch blade and the angle grinder. An angle grinder is a fast and effective way of cutting rebars. Baby. Using an angle grinder incorrectly can cause serious injuries. If the angle grinder is not held firm and steadily, this might break the blade or bounce off the steel. So always remember to wear proper gear when handling an electrical tool. Then hook it back in so drop it. Bring this. Don't poke it again and bring it in. And this is a 90 degree. Mm -hmm. And then over this. When you're done, come around. This is supposed to even back over exactly over this. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for you to drop it over this. So if you're not even over it, you now okay, can drop over this so easy. Okay. You have to fight it and twist it to go down in there. And then you just squeeze it together so easily squeeze together. Put in this, don't choke it again, mm -hmm. and just bring it on. So I'm going to do again and get it off. And this is supposed to measure four and this is supposed to measure 10 so test it and not every time it's exact from out to out okay. and 4 and you're good so tempo get on
Guys, this is not easy to bend. Yeah, you make it look easy, babe. You make it look so easy. Everything you do. And the longer this iron is, the better it is to bend. That's where the smoke was coming from last night. Back at it again. Never and if, if this land don't so, then you have to turn. You have to just go down while you're turning. But you're not supposed to be slant. At work. Cutting the banding wire one piece at a time for a long period can cause radial nerve paralysis. Damage to the radial nerve can cause weakness in the fingers and the wrist. So it's much easier to cut them in bulk with the undergrinder. Alright. So you have to, you have to imagine now how you are gonna put it and which part you are gonna put it. So if you want it in a corner, then put it you have to turn a certain way. When you put it in a corner, if you put it on a straight wall, then turn a certain way. So you have to imagine where you put it, mm -hmm. and then you, you build it accordingly. Put it down to about 3 inch, yeah, estimate 3 inch, down some more. Yeah, now wrap it over and push it through the, try and make it get it through there, sir. Mm -hmm. And bring it out. Mm -hmm. No matter how much it come out. Just have to pass this steel. I'll bring that over and show. And always dry keep this. Yeah. You don't have to dry tight yet. Okay. Just bring it over and then draw this the piece for the other one and then touch the black back. Okay. Yeah. And then use the tweezer now and twist it. Uh, and nipper. That one little heavy here. Huh? Give daddy. Oh, you give daddy. Mm -hmm. How much? One. Twist it. Shake it, twist it, and see which part weak. Feel any weak spot in here? Do you feel any where we weak? Alright, I think it's good. Once you shake, so you have to go shake. Alright, what do you usually do? You usually push the foot for some pressure. And then you want Lift it up, push the foot first between the spaces there. Yeah. 
and then you go over there and tell you. And then you just lick up your shoe. And you feel the light, you know, just. Put them according. So this is what I call straight. And what I usually do is just put this under your so so. And go down in the space. And then try to hook this. Try to get them here over this. And I have to straighten back this. Yeah. Move this. And move this. And then just put it down to the side. Yeah. 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 Tie. You see that hook here? You see this hook? Yeah. You can make your, your nipper edge go in it. Go in it like this. Mm -hmm. So it can't slip. It can't slip. You just always think there. You know how you support it, Dave? Yes, I was. You can't learn technique before. So it can't slip out. So I couldn't use that same technique on the, on the ones that we're doing down there. You can use the one, but you have to learn straight forward first. You want me to do it the hard way first. You yes, are not that's what nice. I always tell you, you know. You have to do it the hard no, way. No, you know the easy way. When Teach you know, me the easy way. You need to learn it the hard way. Then you can book full technique and full easy way and stuff. I don't want to do it the so hard way. learn it the easy way. way. If you're coming up in a problem, you can't solve the problem because what? They yeah, no, only know the easy way. Now we will always figure it out. And that's the problem. We're gonna figure it out. You have to be able to can think about it before you reach the problem. Picture how it's gonna look. Picture how it's supposed to Bye. look. Bye. And then.
There she is, I'm stressed out. Oh god, I'm tired. I'm tired, me out. You see the youth there, Junior himself. How are you feeling after working today? Tired, tired, you know? Alright, what if I work done? Yeah, he make about 5 steel cages and he help dry and them. All of the remaining steel will roll out the road. Really, really appreciate it. So, after you see, watch the video and everything, what was your expectation coming here? Well, I know I said, a whole heap of work and thing. I want him to underestimate work, you know? Mm -hmm. But I give thanks for the experience and thing. Uh, and it was a good experience, you know. Alright. Yeah. Just want to thank you. I really appreciate the little help. If you never die, I wouldn't read so far. I call him dirty. Wally pass steel in tight, wally pass steel cage, wally pass drying a steel. Alright, sir. So.
we have to start six inch from the steel cage. Yeah. Okay. Now for the exact six okay. inch, you just estimate and that's what you're doing. And then yeah, right, put right? It right here. So the leg here you now, we always want to turn out. Uh -huh. You know want to turn in line with the wall. We want yeah. to turn out to get a stronger grip. Okay. And that way it will hold up by itself. Mm -hmm. You tie this and tie this, it won't a strain or a belly to over. Make sure it's center between in the center yet. Oh. Make sure it's center between them two line here so it have come about. Let's come as close to the pipe as can. Mm -hmm. Alright, tight this one. Yeah, I'm a double one. Yeah, I'm a double one. Double one. This long enough. This is what we call a chair. It is used to hold the over support two to three inches above the main steel.
Thank you for watching Painful DIY. Sending special shout out to Chevron, Randy, Richie. Be up yourself, you know.